Good morning. Welcome to The People Speak. I'm Jeff with you this morning, and today we'll be talking with State Senator Paul Schimpf. Uh, always appreciate the opportunity to come in, uh, come in and talk with you. Probably the big, uh, the big topic this week has been uh, we were able to have a memorandum of understanding signed on Monday between SIU Carbondale and the Illinois Department of Natural Resources uh, to have some strategic planning studies done for both the World Shooting and Recreational Complex here in Sparta and then also Pyramid State Park uh, down in Perry County. So that's that's something that I think is uh, I think is a big win for the region. I think it's going to be very important because those two facilities have a lot of potential and this is going to help us uh, make sure that it's maximized. Exactly. Pyramid Park has been in existence for many years and, and of course, the shooting complex for, for a number of years now, too. Yeah, people don't realize that Pyramid State Park is the largest state park in Illinois. You know, and it's uh, it's something that uh, you know I I I don't think that many people in the uh, in the St. Louis metro area know about it. If they did, I think we'd have a lot more people coming down and uh, spending money uh, here in southwestern Illinois. But this is. Uh, this is something, if you remember a few months ago, we talked about, you know, right at the beginning of January, we talked about my le- my legislative priorities for the spring. You know, I, I called it the uh, 8, 8 for 18, the uh, the eight things that I was going to work on. And one of one of those things was to get some strategic planning studies done for both Pyramid State Park and the shooting complex. Mm-hmm. And I filed legislation that would that would require the Department of Natural Resources to do these strategic planning studies. Uh, and that bill uh, did get some traction and did did move. But one of the things that that I believe is that government power should be really exercised in a limited manner. You know, I, I always tell people, you know, I'm going to going to vote our values i'm going to in one of those values is is limited government and i think that government power should be the last resort and if i can get something done without having to resort to passing a law to make it happen i'd i'd prefer to go that route so that that's really what happened here i uh i did file a bill the bill got some traction made it out of committee was ready to pass the senate and then uh you know i'd been having discussions with the Department of Natural Resources and the uh, and SIU Carbondale, and we said, you know, do we really need to pass a law to make this happen, or can we just get it done, you know, with these two entities working together? And you know, once we decided that, you know, that, that we were going to be able to do that and do this via a memorandum of understanding, an agreement between, you know, the the university and the Department of Natural Resources, you know, I think that's the way to go as opposed to passing a law. Right, right. If if you can work together without having red tape along with it, it's a, a lot easier. Well, it's it's kind of funny. Uh, you look at a lot of legislators and they assess their effectiveness based on well, you know, I passed, you know, I I passed thirty bills this past spring, and and then we wonder why government in Illinois has gotten so huge <laughs> when. You know, everybody, every individual legislator goes up there and tries to define their value by how many pieces of legislation they can pass. Mm -hmm. That's not my philosophy. If I can get something done uh, without getting the government involved, that's the route I'd like to go. We had a floor debate last uh, couple of weeks ago where, you know, one of my comments was actually, you know, we need to wield government power like a scalpel, not like a sledgehammer, Uh, you know, because... You know, if government is, you know, it is too big in Illinois, it is too expansive, and I think we'd be better off with less government instead of more government. Just kind of to fine-tune here and there. Where it... Ex- exactly. So that's, and that's that's something that I think a lot of times you look at that, you know, maybe that's the difference between a, between a conservative and a, and a progressive. Uh, and I, uh, you know, a conservative, I think, believes that government is the problem. A progressive believes that the government you know, is the solution to everything. And maybe maybe the truth lies somewhere in between. I don't know. Exactly. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take a break here, and we'll come back and talk some more with Senator Paul Shemp here on The People Speak right after this.
Welcome back to The People Speak. I'm Jeff talking today with Senator Paul Schimpf, talking about uh, a couple of initiatives, I guess, working with SIU regarding the shooting complex and also Pyramid State Park. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, we were touching on that before we went to before we went to break. And I think it's it is interesting to, to understand what this uh, memorandum of understanding was that we signed this week between SIU Carbondale and the Department of Natural Resources. And what it does is SIU Carbondale has a uh, kind of a an economic engine like a small business laboratory that looks at how to maximize the potential for different different businesses, different organizations. That part of SIU Carbondale is the part that's going to be doing these strategic planning studies. And there's two different studies that they're going to be doing one for Pyramid State Park and then one for the for the shooting complex. But those two separate studies, both are going to involve the same thing. First of all, they're going to assess the ability of each of those facilities to perform or accomplish their mission. The second thing that, that the studies are going to do is they're going to identify the infrastructure, staffing, and really the promotional needs that each facility has. You know, how like how many people should we have working out at the shooting complex, you know, if that facility is going to be running on all cylinders. What infrastructure do we need? You know, do we need more buildings? Do we need certain roads to be repaired? Those type of needs. So the facility is going to be looking at that as well. And then it's also going to, the last thing that each study is going to do is it's going to talk about how each of those facilities can serve as an economic driver for the region. You know, you look at, uh, you know, if we have more activity going on in Pyramid State Park, there's already there's already a lot of uh, horseback riding. There's a lot of fishing, a lot of hunting that's done at Pyramid. You know, are there other activities that we could do? Same thing with the uh, with the shooting complex in Sparta. Now, in its heyday, they had concerts there. I'd like to see a lot more of that. You know, possibly, uh, you know, I've talked with the mayor of Sparta about, you know, that, that might be a great place to have the uh, hot air balloon races, mm-hmm. something, something like that. But both of these studies are important because... I feel like right now one of the things that concerns me is that we've just been in react mode with both of those facilities. And what I mean by that is we're just doing kind of what's necessary to get by day to day. Uh, Back in my prior life before I got into politics, I was in the Marine Corps, and one of my jobs in the Marine Corps was I was a strategic planner. I was looking at uh, energy and environment issues and how they were going to impact the DOD 30 years out. Mm-hmm. You know, 30 years might be a little bit extreme here in this case, but I do think we want to be thinking about what direction those facilities need to go so that they can be contributing more 10 years from now to the region. And if we're going to do that, you need to do some advanced thinking. You need to do some planning. You can't just be saying, okay, well, how are we going to get through, you know, from one day to the next? So the SIU is going, SIU Carbondale is going to do those studies. Uh, You know, one of the things that this memorandum of understanding talked about was how uh, the Department of Natural Resources was going to give them all the information that they needed, uh, all the access they needed so that they could go to those facilities, they could interview uh, people that were there. Uh, they're going to turn over to them any any previous uh, studies or documents that were done on the facilities. And then also, uh, you know, if if it's if if there is a need for some funding, SIU Carbondale is going to come come to me, come to the other legislators. We'll try to make it happen. We may have to reach out to some private donors as well. You know, if there is, you know, if there is funding that's needed for economic modeling. My understanding, though, is that SIU Carbondale has the staff in place where they're going to be able to work on these projects without uh, too much uh, too much funding being required. Really. I think what they're going to be doing is convening stakeholders, having some meetings, you know, really trying to to merge ideas, solicit input from the uh, local stakeholders in the community. So I'm excited. I think this is really this is a this is a win for the state of Illinois in that, you know, the the Department of Natural Resources is getting these strategic planning studies done. It's also a win for SIU Carbondale because this reaffirms that SIU Carbondale really is the economic engine for the region. The university is giving back to Southern Illinois. They are doing these studies to figure out how we can get our economy growing here in southwestern Illinois. And I think most importantly, I think it's going to be a win for the people of southwestern Illinois because if these facilities do well, you know, that is something that's going to really drive economic growth.